Hi guys, welcome to another episode of the Draft of Glory by myself, Bates and 87 We are starting with headliners. We have got some nice versions of items in there. And we've also got Man of the Match items, which started as of today. I'm recording on Sunday. I'm going to record like five episodes, I think, guys, putting us ahead on the series itself. And hopefully make some money the past couple of weeks we haven't made any money but you can see we have sold a little bit of stuff and that's basically that 83s uh will be this stole this and hopefully it sells anyway we're going to take a look through the club because it is weekend league uh at this current moment and i want to see if we've got any consumables any center forward to cams we've got squad fitnesses but i don't think they're gonna be oh they are 900 a pop um I might come back to them this week. I might come back to them this week. What I will get rid of, though, is the contracts. We'll uh, we'll offload the contracts. Hopefully, because like, I think there's going to be like 50k's worth of uh, squad fitnesses there. Now, if you guys are new to the channel as well, make sure you subscribe. All that good stuff, guys. Leave a like rating uh, as well. That'll be absolutely fantastic. And uh, what have we got player-wise as well? Let's take a look at players. Any high rateds? There is. Oh, Perisic. Oh, wait there. Perisic. 22. Right, we're going to get rid of the high rated players now. I'm going to let them go and open big guys. Uh, and also a very expensive 85 there who, uh, st well, mm, he's all right. We got we got hit a little bit because uh, I've come onto this account a little bit later than I should have. We've got a lot of 83s in there um, and we'll offload them. The rest probably, eh, nah, I'm not really seeing much. Maybe Kepper. Kepper. 2k, eh, there and thereabouts. We'll get rid of him as well. Let him fly and actually Sousa. I'll let Sousa go because he's currently in packs with the headliners. So with that, I'm hoping that we can maybe get some headliners to have a play around with them in there. I've only used one up until this point and that player was Kenny Lala, uh, the 87 rated. Another reason I'm using him because he actually fit into my main team. So formation-wise, we've got the 4 one 2 one 2 now we're the 4 3 2 one I'm not gonna go. I'm still not comfortable with this uh, this patch yet, so I'm not gonna go with that. But what? It, uh, actually, I might. Yeah, I might go with that. I might. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna go with it. I'm gonna try it out. I'm gonna try it out again. See how we get on. Ugh, what a disgusting start, guys. The Bamiang, Rodriguez, Isco. Let's go with Isco because if we can get that left forward, Vinicius Junior, that would be fantastic. I'm gonna take Sol for the Spanish link as well. Left forward, can we get Vinicius Jr.? Thierry Henry's in draft, though. Hello. Hello, Thierry Henry. Yeah, that, that'll do me. I didn't even know that he was in, so there must be a new batch of icons as well. Messi and Gareth Bale. We're going to go with Messi, though, guys. We're not going to go with Gareth. We're going to go with Messi. And then striker, Rodrigo. Ooh. We're top. Well, no, we're not really torn. We could use this 86. That deal cost us better, but... I want to try. I'm gonna try that with Rodrigo. Yeah, I'm gonna go with the Man of Match Rodrigo, as he's a new new item. I've not used him, so let's see how he plays. Oh, we do get. Oh, we get Pedro Leon and Zayech. Because the rest of the choice aren't the best, I'm gonna take Zayech. Might end up playing him as a sub. Left side, Di Maria, Felipe Anderson, Christian Tello. Tello's the only one really there, isn't it? Di Maria. Yeah, there's no point. We'll go with Tello. And then centre backs. It's not a bad base team though. Paulista. He'll work. I need some fast as hell defenders. Ooh. Right, how are we looking now? No Spanish. Uh <laughs> okay, we'll go with top rack. I don't know how I'm gonna get him in. Hummels, Koulibaly, PK, Sully. PK will work. He'll have to work. He'll have to work. He's not the best, but he'll do. 82 chem. Now, the goalkeeper is trash. Literally not. No one works. No Bundesliga there either. No. We'll take the font. So, 83 chem. And there's a few players need to take out the team. So, what I'm going to do, guys, is start off with the free picks. Okay. That was a great start, wasn't it? Next pick, Godin, Eriksson, Juan Fran. Godin comes on him. He does help. There we go, 86. Um, low pace, though. Not the best of pace. We need a right midfielder. Uh, a goalkeeper, preferably, as well. Um, yeah, goalkeeper a little bit screwed with. 
I might take the goalkeeper now and just see what we get. Navas, nice, nice. Loads of La Liga players. Neto, uh, I've got to take Atletico Madrid. No, we'll go with uh, we'll go with Neto in net. The Brazilian takes us 95 chem. So what we're stuck on now is that right midfield position. But we got a lot of positions left to go through. Mares, Sterling, Ribery. Uh, I'll go with Raheem Sterling. Next pick. Suso. I can get him in. He does. He does give us a little bit of chemistry. He takes us 97. Like that. And then swap it around in game. So we have got 100 chem, but I could do with maybe a La Liga right mid. Coutinho, Handanovic, Hummels. Uh, I'll go with Coutinho. I'll put Coutinho in there instead of, um, instead of him, which can work. And now, on to the set pick. So I want some better defenders. Team Leo defenders, Varane, Ramos, etc. Nelson Semedo. Could work. Would be better as a right wing back, but... Yeah, it sorts chemistry out a little bit, doesn't it? Uh, we'll keep it like that. Well, Nelson Semedo. It gives that extra defensive cover. Hakimi, Marquinhos. Um, I'll take Hakimi. Just because he's a nice looking card. Right, so the defence is staying as it is. We don't have another centre back, so the defence is staying as it is. What we do need is a front forward heavy attack. Uh, I'll go with Hanny because the rest are not bad. It's just a lot of league draft today, guys. It's a pretty bog standard, boring one, but I'm hoping I can pack some. Uh, we've got Bowen, Almiron, who signed for Newcastle, but we'll go with Bowen. And then Striker. Hopefully, I can get a decent Striker. You've got one anyway, but like a super sub. Riyad Mahrez. That'll do. I reckon I can work with this team. I'd be disappointed if I couldn't, guys. I'll take Riyad Mahrez. Uh, we'll take uh, bring on Alexi into there. Sterling into there as well. And Zayech. So the rating of the team is going to be 188. Yeah, 188 rated draft. It's not bad. How am I going to set it up in, in team now? So we'll, uh, we'll finalise it. We'll show you what we got. And we do get a Santander manager there, uh, which takes him to seven. And obviously some defensive cover, which I am happy with as well, which is not bad. So moving on into the team. Here's a summary as well. You guys can see it. Moving on into the team itself, when we go into the game, I think what I'm going to do is swap a few things around. Um... I might bring on Suso. I might actually do some late changes, you know. I bring Suso on for Sol, and then Coutinho I'm not a fan of, uh, for Zayech. Actually, what pace is Suso? Yeah, I'll probably move him like that. And go and see if that can work. It may work, it may not, but who knows. But that's what we're potentially going to do there. Um, and then we've got another sub with like Riyad Mahrez who will come on for Isco or something. But I reckon the team's good, a good starting team. Definitely looks like it can do the business. Now what we've got in front of us now, guys, is four games. Hopefully, we can win all four and pack some headliners. But we're going to do five drafts now till next Tuesday. Hopefully, we can get some good players in them. So, something I didn't remember, well, I did remember, was we tried three at the back for the first new patch draft. Early on in the week. I thought, yeah, it's going to be all right. Come up against this team. He looks all right. A few dangerous players in there. And the new uh, headliner, Werner. A decent, fast defence. Decent goalkeeper as well. And this was a struggle. We were getting absolutely dominated. Trying to get the ball to the defence. Um, from defence to midfield to attack. It just wasn't happen happening. There was a massive disconnect. And the players were sat back. I couldn't get the ball out. And this guy was ruthless when it comes to pass and play moving the ball around and putting the ball in the back of the net as it does with word there making it 1-0 in the early stages of the game thankfully not long after he scored we did create an opportunity with the 1-2 in it just didn't feel like the usual 3-4-2-1 which i usually play with um it didn't feel as comfortable on the counter attack it didn't feel comfortable in the midfield maybe I had the wrong personnel maybe the team wasn't as meta as i should have built it um 
but he was uh, he was getting absolutely exposed in the defence. And you can see here, ball whipped in, Sane is able to square it across. We clear it nicely, but the ball's picked up by Alba, who was a very attacking um, player for him. And brilliant tick attacker there. Completely riddles my defence with the ball and uh, slots it in past the keeper. Werner with his second goal of the game within a matter of minutes. It got even worse in the second half. Ball over to, um, to uh, Hazard. Hazard into Rakitic. Rakitic with the ball outside to Isco. Isco with the ball inside to Werner. And then simple one touch and a slot pass makes it 3-1. And takes the game away from me in the 51st minute. I was not happy, not happy at all. And especially when you can see the disconnect there, guys. Look at how far I've got to put the ball up. I should have carried it maybe looking back at it, but um, I was proving, he was proving very tough, especially against the fast passing of my opponent. Ball into Sane, he gets the ball back off the keeper, and, uh, sorry, the defender, and just squares it across for a simple finish. He makes it 4-1 in the 66th minute. So we would need some absolutely insane to come back into this game. And it started to happen, guys. A bad pass out here allows me to run through on goal with Mares. Mares commits pass, squares it inside, and uh, you can see a nice finish. <laughs> well, it was a nice finish, but we hit the bar, ball bounce out, we header it in. 80th minute, we pull it back to 4-2 um, in this game. And then I thought, right, let's continue pushing. Let's try and get another chance in the 85th minute. Ball inside here to Henri. Henri over to Messi. Messi to Mares. Mares makes it 4-3. But for the remainder of the game, guys, I did struggle to get the ball off my opponent. And, uh, yeah, we do go out in the first bloody round. And a first round exit for the first time in a long, long time. And this guy was a very, very good player. Um, passed around. When we got the last goal, we literally couldn't get the ball off. And you can see, like, look at the shots on target we had. Fair enough, a lot of them were saved by the goalkeeper, but... It was just one of them things, guys. One of them games, and uh, we unfortunately go out. Now, what I've decided, unless we get a draft token, I'm not doing another draft. I'm going to leave it and come back refreshed. But a free 4 3 loss in the first round, it's got me a draft token. We're doing another draft. We're doing another draft, guys. Can't be going off like that. So we get the draft token, thank you, and uh, the rest will uh, quick sell, getting 149 coins back. So at least we've guaranteed ourselves at least something good. I don't like I don't like redoing it. I'm so annoyed that I lost when I in the first round of that draft. But I'm not going free at the back formation again. It wasn't fun, it didn't work, and uh it's too wide. It's it's too open at the moment until I get used to the the, the way it plays. So ooh, Baggio's in there. Didn't know that Baggio was in, in the draft now. Nice, so we get Baggio to have a play around with. Striker. Absolutely fantastic bunch of players there. So we'll go with Charlie Austin. <laughs> I don't know why, but he can work. Juan Mata Cancelo. Ooh. I'm going to go with Cancelo in case I can get a Ronaldo. Costa. And the same for Costa. Oh, this could work out nicely. It's primed for Ronaldo, isn't it? Until we get there. Damn. We'll go with Didop. He doesn't really do anything. Next one. Oh, Makalele's in here. Wow. This is good. This this is not a bad draft, actually. We've done two drafts, and we've got a few of the new icons, which is always good. Uh, no Brazilian there. Congolo. No French either, is there? We'll go with Bareca. I don't know how. He's probably not going to be finishing anyway. Vachalco, Munier, and Ricardo Pereira as well. Um, I might go over Schalke. I might do a Serie A draft today if I can. That would be nice. I feel dominant with the Serie A players. Koulibaly, Sergio Ramos. Yeah, I'm going to go Koulibaly. Brilliant defender. And the only way I'd take is if I get a team of the year. Screwing out Van Dijk. Um, uh, I'll go with Screwing out. He's got another version. He's got one of them new cards, but I'll go with this one. And Chesney in net. Not bad at all. Just need to get a striker. Ronaldo pop up. Oh, Thierry Henry does. I didn't like him last time, to be fair. 97 chem. He works. It's three icons in one draft. I'm after Ronaldo, though. Fekir, Thiago Silva, Calvert Lewin. Um. I could go with Calvert Lewin if, in case we don't get a striker going forward. Parejo, Alexandro, Alexander Arnold. Alexandro's spot on as well. 
So we'll go with him. Even he's got one of them new versions as well. So it does drop us chemistry down a little bit. But um, it does work. Mares, Sommer. Who have we got in there? Uh, we'll take Sommer to get the rating up. One more pick. Well, a few more picks. Felipe Luis, Quadrado, Kyle Walker. Um... Quadrado, there's no point in taking him, is there? Not really, but then again, he could end up playing striker to get chemistry to everyone. We'll take him. And we still have to have CDM as well. Hamdanovic <clears throat> and Gomez. Gomez isn't needed. Insigne isn't needed, so I'm going to take Hamdanovic, I think, for a better goalkeeper. And he actually does get me chemistry to a few players that I need. 97 chem. Can we get a CDM? We get Kolarov. Uh, I'll take him. Probably not going to play with him, but he'll take him. Right. So we've not got Ronaldo, which is gutting. Gutting it is. David De Gea will take you for your rating. Musaccio. No point. Defense is pretty good anyway. Um, but we'll take, we'll take him. This, the defense is really good. I'm happy with it. It was just primed for Ronaldo. We never got it. Maguire, uh, we'll go with Tart with rating though. And these are the final two picks where I am hoping that someone will pop, a CDM will pop up. Lingard, ah, Gago. Um, we'll go with Hesse Lingard. Jesse, he can come on in. CDM here, we've had, a, we've had a silver pick, so I'm hoping a CDM comes on in here. Oh, it doesn't work. It doesn't work. But we do get a French player. But then again, um, even this draft, I'm not impressed with it. Where's it? Where's he at? So he can go there. Hmm. It works, it, it works, I suppose, but I may as well start with Calvert-Lewin as well up front. So at 96 chem, we haven't really got a go-to striker. Uh, well, we, we've got a few, but job will do. No, we, we haven't We haven't got the go-to striker that I was that I was hoping. We've got a lot of high-rated goalkeepers, bloody hell. Uh, we need to get six chemistry from somewhere as well. Let's see if we can get that. Serie A, none. Liga Un, there is one. 98, 97, 98, 97, 97. So 98 is going to be our manager. And uh, that does do it. So there we are. Another draft. Hopefully not going to get first rounded this time. So looking to make amends for the first draft. Apologies again for three at the back. I think for the next couple of weeks, guys, I'm going to avoid three at the back. And unless we like forced, our hand is forced with it, um, I'm going to try and stick with a four at the back, comfortable formation, and just try and play my way around the field and get used to the new shooting techniques, new passing techniques, and uh, new uh, passing as well with the players. Troy Deeney with an absolute screamer for my opponent makes it 1-0 in the 7th minute. I was like, oh no, it's going to be one of these games again, isn't it? Uh, thankfully, it wasn't because we were actually having a, a nice bit of the ball. The players were slipping into nice positions and uh, you can see when we get the ball, but, but into Henri, keep a movement there when we catch him, move, put, smash it into the top left-hand corner, making it 1-1 one, one in the 15th minute. That was a nice finish. Um, you would have expected Thierry Henry to finish that anyway. I'm not a massive fan of Thierry Henry in the game. Uh, real life, absolutely fantastic. The, he is a legend of football, but uh, in FIFA, I've just been never, never been the fan of him. Even though he gets his second goal there with a nice return pass back to him and a simple finish past the goalkeeper, and I thought two one. We were knocking on the door earlier anyway. We were getting a few decent opportunities. And I thought, right, he's going to make some personnel changes for his game, and uh, then we're going to be able to push on and uh, hopefully get some more goals, but we didn't even need to. My opponent dips out of the game, and we progress on into the second round of the draft, where we would be put up against a 4-5-1 formation with Thierry Henry, Suarez, Hernandez, Foden, Timlia Kante, Blanc, Lovren, uh, Delph, who else in there? Edison, Walker, Mares. Nice, nice players. The 97 chemistry, 88 rated, so there could have been some other players hiding around on his bench, um, but... 
you got to ignore people's personality. you just got to do it yourself. Henri, nice lack of care. A ball inside to Calvert-Lewin. Calvert-Lewin gets stepped on by Dejan Lovren. And uh, it does result in a penalty kick for us, uh, which we could take a 1-0 lead in the first 10 minutes of the game. Badjo steps up, goes down the middle, beats the keeper, and uh, puts us in a nice position going forward into the rest of the game. Badjo was actually really fun to play with. Um, a player which I've never seen in rivals, in foot champions. He just seems like the avoided icon this year. Um, but... Uh, I was going to have a play around him, see what he was like. And you see, pass and play into Thierry Henry. Thierry Henry, nice bit of skill, able to smash it in, hits the post, but ball bounces out. And Costa gets a rebound, making it 2 0 in the 18th minute. Very, very nice finish. But you would be annoyed if he didn't score from that position. I tell you that for free. Pushing on in further down the line. Uh, hoof ball clearances by my opponent. We were picking the ball up very easily off him. Um, we were able to restart our attacks. Lingard with the ball inside to Makaleli. Back to Lingard to Baggio. Baggio with the pass out to uh, Quadrado. Keepers coming out. And Henri gets a simple tapping guys with a header. Empty net. He's not going to miss from there. And we go 3-0 to the good. And then the game changed a little bit. He felt like he was messing around. But he wasn't messing around that much. And he, he like baited him into a different style of play. And with the bait into a different style of play, allowed him to get himself back into the game. Walker with the ball, whips it on in, and a brilliant um, header by Henri gets in front of the defender and makes it 3-1. Fair enough, one goal's all, all, all you need really to get back into the game. But still pushing forward to try and get him out of the game, make it 4-1. My opponent passing the play inside to Kante. Kante to Mares. Mares with the ball um, on the inside uh, back to Foden. Foden with the ball. He's able to whip it on in and we get caught with our second cross as my opponent makes it 3-2. Squeaky pump time appeared at there and I was like right let's get on into it but ball into Mares. Mares with the turn Mares with the shot is blocked but it bounces out to uh, his player into Kante another block and Kante inside to Royce and I think it was maybe bounced off Suarez I don't know but he does make it 3-3 allowing the game to go back to level terms which I was very very annoyed about considering we built up a free goal lead into the end style of the game now and yet again, my opponent was still doing that messing around stuff, as you see. Ball into Baggio, Baggio to Henri. Henri with the ball is able to lack rocket around the keeper, shoots it into an empty net. 4-3 into the lead, and I would not be giving up this lead at this stage of the game. I at least wanted to get into the final of this, and we had to overcome our opponent here to be able to do so. And then, a ball inside to Baggio. Baggio with a dink over, and Henri gets his fifth goal. Uh, sorry, not fifth goal. The fifth goal of the game. And uh, we do make it 5-3 in injury time, and that uh, does seal our progress into the quarter, no, semi-finals of the draft now. Out of the quarterfinals and into the semis. Semi final opponent, you can see the amount of shots the guys got. It is ridiculous, isn't it? Our semi final opponent, PK, Ramos, Modric, Puyol, Asenjo, Marcelo, Condogbia, Rafinha, Moreno, Asensio, and also Aspas. Not the greatest looking of teams at this stage of FIFA, especially in draft as well, um, but. We played teams worse off, and they have been uh, very, very good uh, from us. Baggio with the ball inside to Makaleli, Makaleli into Henri, Henri with the touch and the turn into Baggio. Baggio holds onto the ball, gets it into Henri, and Henri with the nice turn inside, double turn, get avoids the tackle by Puyol, and uh, does make it one nil in the 19th minute of the game. Putting us 1-0 up and a very, very nice goal uh, by him. It's actually doing all right for me, but I do know there is better players out there um, than him in the game. Ball in, and you can see he's still passing the ball around inside to Baggio. Baggio to Henri. Henri through to Costa. Costa gets tackled, but we do pick the ball up with Makaleli. Makaleli with a pass inside to, uh, to Costa. And Costa puts it in at the near post, making it 2-0 in the 24th minute. This was looking like it could be an easy and fast progression into the draft final. But we have been two, three goals up in the past and, and let it all slide. So I wasn't going to be giving up. Learning our lesson from the last one. Costa with the ball. Nice. Well, going for the lack of a fail. It gets ball into Henri. Henri with a pass inside to Quadrado. Turning the defenders, pass inside to uh, Baggio. And Baggio with a near post finish does make it 3 0 in the 28th minute. Fast turnaround, you know. We're doing all right at this point. All we have to do is get him out of the game so we get into the final. And then in the 54th minute, we're going out of attack again. Ball in and a simple finish from Baggio does make it 4 0 in the 54th minute. And uh, he's actually a pretty good icon um, to use. One I've never used in a main team, but maybe want to go for in the future. A nice 4 0 victory and uh, the rage quick does happen. So that takes us on into the draft. 
final today, after going out in the first round and looking to redeem ourselves quite heavily, we're up against Icardi, Ronaldo, Costa, um, Kante, Salah, Robertson, Fabinho, that Brazilian centre-back, as well as Inform Sandro, and also one to watch Alisson. Nice team. 97 chemistry and some dangerous players uh, in there. And we found out pretty quickly he's dangerous players. Salah with the ball inside to Kante. Kante with a pass on the inside to Cardi. Cardi to Ronaldo. Ronaldo with a simple finish inside the post. He makes it 1-0. And I was like, right, that's not good. Not good at all. But Baggio, Lacroquette inside. Cudrado, pass back to Baggio. First time shot near post. We beat the keeper and we do make it 1-1. Very, very nice goal and uh, happy as Larry uh, when that went in because if we would let our opponent go away with the game, that could have been pretty painful. You can see we're shutting him down in midfield, ball over to Henri, to Baggio. Baggio with the Lacroquette inside to Makalele. Makalele, nice drive forward, ball into Henri. Henri makes it 2-1. In the 39th minute of the game, and uh, we're looking good in this game. We weren't having many opportunities, but the ones we were having were getting, like, testing the keeper, if not going in. And uh, in the 76th minute, we were able to kill the game, guys. Ball inside to Henri, inside to Cancelo, who's got the overlap, inside ball to Costa. Costa with the pass on the inside to Henri, and look at this flick, volley, bang. That goal won us the draft, but can we get anything good in pack? And back to winning ways, guys. We lose the first round of the first draft, but then go on to win in the final um, of this one. And now we are looking all for the good. So, decent amount of shots, decent return as well. So, I'm always happy with that. And uh, against a difficult opponent as well, he just didn't really know how to shoot. But that's what's happening with people learning a new patch. That happens. Now, we get a rare goal, Pat Pungo. But we absolutely love these packs. But can we get a headline in them? We're going to open them and see. We've been lucky in worse packs, you know, as we get Adler. Um, yeah, just going to hold on to him, uh, I think. I'll do something in the future. Discard, 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 discard. List up the contract for 200. We'll keep Diego Rico. And we'll list up the, the two players of Adler and, uh, and Chester. So that's that one done. And that was the worst pack of the two as well. So we've got the rare goal packs next. Looking for a decent-ish return. If not just a 50... Oh, my God. Muslera. Draft packs are horrendous. Like, for, for, like, the instant thing, isn't it? Discard, discard, list up. That's literally a terrible pack. The, one of the worst packs I've seen. Luckily, we do have squad fitnesses stored up in the club, which we can potentially get rid of few down the line. Um, I sent it forward to Striker may sell. Discard, keep on to the players. 552 coins back. Final one. What we're going to get there? No walkout again. <laughs> right, the aim this week, guys, is to get a walkout. We're, gonna, we're not even got an 83 plus. I need to get a 50k pack or a 100k pack by the end of the week. That's something I want to get because um, at the moment we're just missing uh, players left, right, and center. 200, 200. 200, great, finesse, centre forward striker. Are the other ones extinct? No, they're not. So not really worth that much. Centre forward, I think it's centre forward to Cam. They're the expensive ones where we could potentially make some money from. But 168 coins back and uh, what we sold in the trade pack. Let's go and take a look at that one. 18 things are sold. I presume it's going to be like um, contracts. Yeah, yeah, 21k, 11k. Not bad money. And even the uh, and even the bronze gone. Nice. So it's really stiff him. Come back tomorrow. Hopefully refreshed. Hopefully do a lot better than we did. First of all today. <laughs>